All right, what's up guys? Um, if you guys have watched here Micah's videos, um, we actually filmed the first part of our match on his channel. A lot of you guys are probably coming on to my channel because of that, but let me get you guys out of the sun. What were we? I was one up. You were one up. We got a lot of holes left. We had a whole not back nine to play here, so yeah. it's definitely not over. And you guys saw how shaky I was in the front. <laughs> so if oh, that- for like the first four holes. Oh, like half, yeah. of the, half of the front yeah. nine. So if that happens, you know, we never know what can happen, but we're out here at Stonebriar Country Club. Solid course, but uh, we'll get it started here. Kind of a quirky little hole here. So you just kind of hit iron. The hole goes way left after those bunkers. So we just kind of try to leave something just in one of the bunkers and then play from there because the hole just goes straight left from there. Good work. Good work out. Chunked it a little bit. It's perfect, actually. <laughs> that takes you take some numbers off the hole when you play. Yeah. It Hug that left side a little bit there. All right, I'm going four iron as well. Or I don't know, even, did you hit four iron? I hit three, oh, okay. but essentially a four because I kind of chunked it a little bit. A little late, we'll be all right. Just out there to the right side, should kick left. Ah, oh, it's in the rough. Dang it. Didn't come back down? No, it got hung up. And I tell you what, the, the, Amount of dramatic difference from hitting this shot to that shot is just insane. <laughs> yeah, Mike has got a pretty <laughs> nasty lie here. Sitting down, looks kind of fluffy there. There's 130 playing down. Oh, he's got a front flag here too, so. Probably to 125. Yeah. Can you see the flag from here? left of the green it shouldn't be too bad yeah it's an okay spot to be chipping from pretty, I just yeah, get pretty, too aggressive with that and it's yeah no exactly tell them where it goes man I tell you Luke has really just just we? Luke has really turned it up the last couple holes and uh, I'm gonna need can't be making these silly mistakes if I want to get this thing back but he's one up through nine as you guys know I gotta get back into the action here all right so we got 117 here off the right into so one what did I say 117 a little bit down so maybe one 15, 114. Good shot. Here long, but yeah, it's fine. Maybe like 10 feet. All right, so Mike is here up in the short left part of the green. Got a pretty decent lie. You can see a little yeah, green one. Yeah. Out of all the places to chipping chipping from, this is not the worst. Yeah, it's got a decent amount of green to work with too. So pretty straightforward. Rough just kind of caught onto the club a little bit there. Yeah. Dang it. That ain't good. I got to make that for par. Luke's, Luke's got here for birdie though. Great opportunity to get to two up after 10 holes. Whew, man. Not a good last couple holes for me. Kind of an odd putt here. Kind of moves a little left off the feet and maybe a little bit back to the right near the hole. Just more left off the feet. You just can't miss right now, bro. <laughs> Good pot. Yeah. Alright guys, point number 11 is R4 goes back to the left. It's kind of a, it's somewhat of a dog leg, but you can kind of be aggressive along the left side. Kind of go with that tree right there. I'm kind of thinking this might be a driver. Very well, could be. He's gonna go with the three wood. Keep in play here, hopefully. That was laced. That's good? Yeah, it was hit perfect. I just don't know if it's through the fairway or not. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hit two iron. It's pretty aggressively downwind, so I'm just gonna hit it at that tree on the left side there. Hopefully it faded a little bit. So the little left. I gotta imagine that's past the trees though. 
past that one tree, but I just think there's some more trees up there. That is tough. That is really tough. <sighs> All right, I got 129 here to the pin. Just missed the fairway by a smidge, and yeah. it's making me mad, but I'm going to try to put a good one on this, get on the get on the putting surface. It still surprises me how far you guys freaking hit it. <laughs> I mean, I thought you'd be, like, where those trees are, kind of. That two he's, iron, man, is something He's else. just fine. Yeah, that two iron's nice. Oh, just caught a massive flyer. Oh man, I got it. It took a hard kick too. That's 50 yards long of your aim. Massive kick. Yeah, that took... <laughs> Did it make it to the road? No. Uh, I don't know where the road is, but no, it's on the road. But that thing was flying like crazy. Bad break there. I don't know. I mean, I just, I don't know how you control that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any tips on that? <laughs> All right, guys, Luke is in just prime position here. I don't even know. I think my ball is in play, so I still have a chance, but... I have a with, with the way he's been putting and hitting these wedge shots, it's it's a little scary right now, and I'm two down, so I need to clean this up. 117, uh, should be downwind. The gap wedge, pretty close to the number. So perfect. He's dialed faster. in with the wedges right now. <laughs> Good shot. Man. Hit his shot from the rough. It probably landed. Well, maybe on this down slope here, but I feel like it was past the fringe here. Took a really hot bounce and just went all the way over there. I mean, it wasn't even... I mean, yeah, it was over the green, but it wasn't this far over the green. <laughs> just really exaggerated because of the hot bounce it took. If I have a putt, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Anything on, like, this first half of the green is a pretty good shot. I'm gonna try to just land it in that up slope and hopefully it kicks it left. Yeah, I like it. Ooh. Trees in the way. Honestly, pretty freaking good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty good. He's got I like 12 that. feet for, for par here. Just to have a decent look at par is yeah, all exactly. good. But, I mean, Luke's probably gonna make it, so it's gonna be all for nothing, but. Yeah, I don't know about that. Alright guys, Luke, just, I mean, you you really couldn't be much better than this. Nine feet to win the hole and get to three up after freaking 11. But I'm not out of this, that's for sure. Just slips it by and leaves himself a little bit of work. But... Mike is putt here for par. A little downhill off right to left. Mm. Pretty good roll. Just didn't break, break for him. Alright. Guys, on most days I would concede this, if, obviously, if we were, had both had par, but nah. well, let's see what, he, see what he's made of here. Good putt. Alrighty. Well, you're three up. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of golf left to play, though. We do have a lot of holes left. It is match play. You never know with match play. All right, guys. Luke has got driver out here on our third hole of the day. 338 to the flag. So it's definitely drivable. I just don't know what's really around the green. It looks like there's a sh there's like a big bunker on the right side. I don't know how bad that right bunker is. But I feel like it can't be all that bad. We'll see. Kind of playing this course a little blind. See. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit four iron try to I just want to be in the fairway man yeah Mike has been having a lot of shots just just barely missing the fairway where it just complicates the shot a little bit it's yeah. hard to hit it makes it hard to it kind of commit to it D distance wise it's tough so you can try to get one in the fairway here Look good. Looks like it's right at the flag. Probably be right around that 100 yard mark. Yeah. I pulled up to Micah's ball and I see a ball over there. Doesn't look good. See how my lefty swing is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I got 70 yards here. Just uh, just want to give myself a good look at birdie here. I haven't really had too many of those on this side, so. Mm. 
Mm. Just kind of rode up the face a little bit, sound like. Yep. I don't oh. even know if I made it on the green. That is terrible. Come on, man. This shot, this shot would have been a hard shot if I didn't have to swing it lefty. But there's a tree in the way and I have to swing it lefty. And there's this ridge right here. I'm just trying not to make a big number at this point. <laughs> this is, this is tough. So bad lefty. <laughs> How's that looking, Micah? It looks good actually. You think? Yeah, just keep it on that plane and you're you're <laughs> chilling. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't I guess if you get lucky maybe you hit it better one time. That's just a hard shot. I mean I had nothing there. I'm also on a down slope here too, so Micah, you're looking better and better as we <laughs> Keep hitting the ball. Yeah, but I don't want to win a hole just because you played bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, he went for it. He's I can't even up. really like flop this either, so both and run, I guess it is. Oh, I landed where I wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looked <laughs> like he's got this putt up and over a ridge kind of. Yeah, this is a long putt. Definitely not super easy here. Definitely not what you want from 70 yards either. <laughs> I, feel, I still feel 70 yards from the hole. <laughs> we got 52 feet, breaking to the right. Just gonna put a good ball on here. That'll, that'll one Alright. It's like seven feet past or so. Alright, look here for par, just a little short. He has a he has a putt for bogey. I have a putt for par. <laughs> we got to get past this hole. <laughs> All right, another hole where we're just pillow fighting over here. But Mike has got seven, eight feet downhill for his par. Mmm, money. Finally. Money. Made his par. All right, Mike is now two down. Yeah. His clutch putt in the last hole. We got a par four. There's a lot of irons on this course. Yeah, I know. It's not necessarily like super short, but just because of just, landing it. Yeah, you yeah. Can't get so aggressive. It kind of tightens up there in certain spots. So. Four iron for me. Four iron for Micah. Hit the tree hard, so I think that's probably a good thing. Yeah, it probably is. That was the worst one he did. I, if it's in play. I'm got lucky. Yeah. I got a three iron trying to go right center of the fairway somewhere. Uh ball with Micah, kind of. That didn't hit anything, so I might be in the water. Maybe. It's gonna be close. We'll see. <laughs> Not our best performance of T shot. <laughs> Alright guys, I got about uh, one sixty nine to the pin and it's playing down. Almost 10 yards, so 160. I got P Wedge just playing this just at the left side of that bunker and it's down the hill. Mm, I think it's say just short of the bunker. The worst positions to be in, and I'm, I'm hitting all of them. <laughs> Alright, guys, Luke down here just short of the water. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, the tree is there. The tree is there. Uh, I, I have 117 again. I feel like I've gotten that number over and over again today. Yeah. I gotta hit it low for sure. I almost kind of want to hit a pitching wedge just to make sure I do hit it low, but. Oh my gosh, this came out amazing. Oh. Just a smidge short. That was a great golf shot. That was pretty much right where I was kind of landed, like that front edge. That was impressive. It just didn't bounce up there like I thought it was going to. Micah here. Kind of on a weird lie. It's like slope, like balls like below his feet over there. God, I thought I landed it pretty much right where we were supposed to land it. It's really tough to keep that ball. Luke just off the green. 
You button this? Yeah, I think so. I was thinking about chipping earlier, but... Mm. A little oh. quick. There was a lot of brake right, down, right around that hole that, that just kind really of... thing really slid. Alright, this is breaking just a smidge to the right. Burn the lip there on the left side. All right, Luke has an opportunity to get get this one back here with a. He's got about six, seven, eight feet for par. Swinging. Swinging. He's got some break in it, but he saw it rolling by, so has a good idea what this does. That's some break of destiny there. That's good. Well, we have the hole with the bogey. That's that's not so good. More pillow fighting. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, par 3, 200, it's like 208, but it's playing down to around 195, 200. I'm just going to try to get something a little short of the pin, everything kind of releases back. I never saw it down. It's kind of on the right side of the green over there. I honestly think there's like very little room over there. This is hanging on too. It's hard to see it down. We don't really know exactly where those are, but I think we both missed the green. I think so too. All right, well, I was a little dramatic there. I'm still in play. <laughs> Just barely missed the green, a little bit to the right. A little bopping around here. Not ideal, but. At about six feet. Not terrible. Not great though. Yeah, you're right. This thing is moving. This thing is really moving. I mean, I'm looking like up here somewhere. Right. That yeah, was too terrible. close for comfort there. Yeah, not terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, hit the lip there. <laughs> All right, Luke for par, me for par. He's just maybe a foot outside of me there. So once again, testers. Oh my gosh, that was a, that was a good pot. Just slipped by. That's good. Mikey here for his par to get this match to one down for him, right? Mm, right in the heart. That's huge for the program. Like <laughs> told you guys. <laughs> I told you guys. There's a lot of golf left. I'm only one up now. Micah, making a comeback here. I am now only one up. One up. We got. I think we got five holes left. Five yeah, right. we got plenty of holes yeah. left. I got three wood. This is a beast. It's straight up. It's straight uphill, and I think it's into the wind almost all the way. Mm. But I'm gonna try to hit a little fade off of that wall. It looked like it landed soft. That was a terrible golf swing. It had so much spin on it. It might be in play, but if it is, it's going to be the struggle. Alright, let me go with three wood here. Yeah, good shot. Right up the middle. That's what I was trying to do. Yep, good shot. Also guys, if you guys are enjoying this video and all the videos that I put up where I'm just playing on the golf course and want to know kind of what I'm thinking about before I hit all my shots and all the different variables that I think about, I actually made a course that goes through all of that. It's under the putting it all together section. I've gotten a lot of really good responses from it. If you want more information, there's a free version. It's not the real version, but the free version's in the top right corner or there'll be a link in the description. Oh, I think my good ball went in the water here. We weren't able to find it as we were walking up here. Yeah, I'm hitting my third shot. Gotta try to get up and down from far. Luke is in the middle of the fairway, he's sitting pretty, so. 145, I think? Yeah, uh, 141. Okay. Yeah, a little up there. Oh, I 
hard left. I, yeah. I am uh, a little bit on the struggle bus right now. Guys, I am uh, definitely struggling right now, but we'll get a doubt in. Only one down. Luke is, what do you got, 135? 44. 44. I mean, there is some wind, but I don't really feel much, so. Maybe a tad short, but good shot. I don't know what the heck your ball hit, but it took a really hard kick left. I don't know, but I need to hold this out. This is my fourth shot. <laughs> Alright, he's got about 10 feet. Alright, Luke here has about 35 feet for a birdie. He has two putts to win the hole and get back to two up with four to play. Hmm. Not making it easy on myself. Well, it's a little work there. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to see that one. Alright guys, Luke for a par. This is just outside of that range right here. <laughs> I don't know why they put the flag here. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> well, it was a good par. You got, you got, the, you got the win. Alright, it's a par five. I guess uh, something's going on with the tee boxes, so we're moved up a good bit here. Is that, that looks really good. <laughs> Right. Gets a hard kick right. Now I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Driving for the first time today. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, That's way too far right. Yeah. Alright, so I think Micah's ball went in the water here. I mean, he hit it, he hit it pretty far right, but it's more likely that it went in the water than OB. So he's going to take online with the flag, relief. Not relief, drop. All right, 143 yards, hitting my third shot, and Luke is just, I mean, you can't be any better than that. So, I don't know, made it, made it tough here, but you never know, I can hold out. It might have stayed up. Might have, yeah. I am we'll losing see. momentum very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this is prime position here. What do you got, like 138? One, yeah, 132 on a par five. To be fair, the tee boxes were moved up, but it's <laughs> yeah, but this is five. like, I mean, yeah, this this is great. <laughs> uh, flag looks really far back there, so I'm like, not trying to get too aggressive because I think over it's water. Wins the hole, he wins the match. Tie the hole. It's very unlikely. Well, if mine's in play, that is no two pots. <laughs> no. All right, Micah barely just stayed up here, just by a hair. And he's chipping. Full firm. All right, guys. Luke has two putts to win this 18-hole match. He'll be winning three up. He's run hole 16. If he two putts, this. this is a tough putt. Tell you what, I think I don't know. I, I just kind of ran out of ran out of momentum, ran out of steam. All right, well, I gotta see that one. I cannot get the speed going. <laughs> All right, you gotta make this the win. Oh man, he gave me a chance. Wow. <laughs> just freaking three putting so much today. It's unreal. To be fair, I'm just not used to the speed of the greens, but still, I should be able to figure it out by 15 holes by now. All right, we got Micah here. Got one last chance. Oh, and he makes it. Wow. Oh, that's huge. That is clutch. That's what it, hey, it's not over yet. All right, guys, that's what we're looking at. 17th hole of the day. Luke is two up to, with two to play, so I have to win these next two if I want to force a playoff. You never know. All right, 174, probably down 167.
Mm. Pretty solid. A little right, short. Right. Actually, it's rolling back. What club you got, Micah? Eight. All right. Right side of the green. Both got a putt at it. All right, Micah's got like 40 feet, kind of up the hill, a little right to left. Mm. Our speed control could have been a lot better this today. Yeah, it has been a little off all day, but Luke has uh, two putts to win it again. See if he can capitalize here. Now that is a lot better on the speed. Good putt. Micah. Dude, that was hard fault. It was, that was, <laughs> that a was good another match. good match. Yeah. All right, so that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed my match with me and my boy Micah. Yeah, I last 17 holes this time, which is a little better. <laughs> a little better. <laughs> <laughs> seems like every time we play, it seems to be like a good solid video where we're just kind of going yeah. back and forth, yeah. so. And the golf is the golf was pretty solid today, all day. So. Yeah, yeah. That's it for today, guys. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps out when you guys do that. And if you're new around here and you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker, and if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf, and these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.